We're at an interesting historical juncture right now because of things like the student climate strikes and Extinction Rebellion and demands on a number of institutions to declare a climate emergency. We can see why studying the environment and these issues is so important right now. Our environment and development students explore both the societal and physical drivers of the environmental challenges that face our planet, especially with regards to economic development. Oftentimes we can easily think of the environment as something that recedes to the background, that's something that we're so reliant on that we don't even think about. And so studying it in this way really allows us to question our own relationships to it, to look at socioeconomic and political problems with relationship to the environment. It requires us to think about how people are differently affected by environmental problems and also differently cause environmental problems. We cover issues ranging from sustainable development through to climate change adaptation through to biodiversity conservation, some of the biggest challenges that people will face over the coming decades. It's a very interdisciplinary course, meaning that I look at problems from perspectives like politics, history, science and society. It's a more holistic approach to environmental issues. I really enjoyed that it was taught by experts in the field that don't just research but also practice. It's not uncommon for you to be doing a topic where your lecturer has written books, has spent years and years researching this topic, or has even impacted governmental policy. The students will investigate real-world problems that the world faces in terms of sustainable development, both in the classroom but also in the field. The department offers some amazing field trip opportunities. We have one to India this year which is compulsory as part of the field methods unit. Students get to experience firsthand um, some of the issues that the world faces when it comes to reconciling both economic development but also environmental protection. There's so many opportunities in LSE and around London. The public lecture series is amazing and there's so many speakers that come in who are leading in their fields and really relevant to my degree. Coming from like a rural village in Northamptonshire to living in a big city like London has been amazing. Being in London we have a massive advantage. We're surrounded by some of the world leading firms that are developing innovative tools to addressing environmental issues. Our students go on to work for a multitude of different industries, whether that be NGOs, the charity sector, planning, government departments, uh, but also jobs in the city associated with investment banking, finance and insurance, especially often with a remit towards the developing area of green finance. My top tip for future students of the course would be to choose things that you're really interested in. Make use of the incredible people around you. We're very lucky at LSE to be in an environment where you know, discourse surrounding environmental issues and development are everywhere. Make use of your lecturers, your peers, go to LSE Life, go to public lectures, book office hours. All these different perspectives are going to enrich your experience and make you become a more holistic social scientist. <laughs>